Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Exotic Gaming and welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D video. Today's video is finally another weapon comparison and today we are going to be comparing two of some of the most powerful miniguns in Pixel Gun 3D. The Champion Peacemaker and the Excalibur. One of them is a champion weapon, one of the most powerful types of weapons. And the other is a mythical clan weapon. Which one is better? We're about to find out in this video. Now before we actually get into this video, I just want to say I am recording this on May 22nd before the big updates with Battle Royale and all the gun balancing comes out. I'm hoping this video gets posted before that update comes out. I don't know when that update is going to come out from the time that I'm recording this. So if the update already came out, there may be some changes and nerfs with both of these miniguns. But I am going to be doing an epic comparison. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And hey, if it does have any bit of change, in the most recent updates, then you might just see another one on the channel in a couple of months. Who really knows? Leave a like if you want to keep these weapon comparisons going. And with that being said, let's get into this. Going into the armory section, this is the Champion Peacemaker. Now, the Champion Peacemaker is a reskin of a lesser powerful minigun known as the Automatic Peacemaker. The Automatic Peacemaker was one of the original weapons in Pixel Gun 3D, and now we have a more powerful version of it, the Champion version. This is mythical! alongside the Excalibur. They are both mythical weapons. This one is a combat level 17. It's automatic, of course. 32 power, 98 firing rates, 100 capacity, and a 75 mobility. That is compared to the 37 power of the Excalibur, a 99 firing rates, a 70 capacity, and a 70 mobility. So the Excalibur has a higher power, has a higher firing rate, it has a lesser capacity and a lesser mobility. It looks like the Excalibur is the bigger weapon out of the two in terms of how heavy it is, and it looks like it's going to be something you're going to be lugging around a lot more. Now, the Excalibur has some unique abilities with it, energy shield and armor bonus. If you can use the Excalibur and you spawn into a match with the Excalibur, then that weapon will give you even more armor than you generally would have in Pixel Gun 3D. These weapons are so powerful, you don't don't need any special primary boosting gear to make your weapons more powerful because they just destroy as you guys can see right here no one stands a chance against either one of these weapons the champion peacemaker is no joke at all and the excalibur is just the same now both of these weapons have different crosshairs i actually think that is something somewhat important in pixel gun 3d for some reason certain types of crosshairs seem to be more accurate when i'm looking and using at them in Pixel Gun 3D. Now, that might not be the same for other people, which is why it's not really that important. But as you can see, looking at just the Champion Peacemaker here to start off, it looks like it's an absolute beast of a weapon. Like I said, I don't know if that's going to change in the most recent update. I guarantee it still will be a ridiculously powerful weapon in the most recent update. But my God, guys, this Champion Peacemaker gets the job done. Now, if we were to switch over to the Excalibur, you guys can see here, this is no joke as well. This thing will absolutely annihilates everybody that you go and come in contact with in matches. Look at this. Everybody is dying to both of these weapons. These are miniguns. Miniguns are known to be powerful in most games you play. Fortnite's kind of like the only exception to that with that game. The minigun isn't really that great. <laughs> But in Pixel Gun 3D, miniguns have always been some of the most powerful weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. I said Pixel Gun 3D twice in one sentence. Forgive me for that. We had the laser minigun back in 2014. That was a freaking beast. That weapon destroyed back then. It was actually the most annoying weapon back in the day. Everybody hated it. It was the most OP thing ever. It was just ridiculous. So now we have the Excalibur in Pixel Gun 3D. I don't think it's as annoying just because that weapon obviously doesn't go through walls, but that one does give you some more armor. Now, if you were to choose a weapon that would give you probably more lasting gameplay, I'd say the Excalibur is definitely the one. If you're looking for really long kill streaks, then the Excalibur is the one that's going to end up doing that. With the Excalibur, since you have more armor, you're going to survive a little bit longer. But here's the other problem. Both of these weapons are miniguns. Both of these weapons are meant for pretty close range gameplay. They don't have scopes, obviously. So you're not really going to get super long range gameplay with either of these weapons. As you can see, trying to take people out at long range, especially people flying in the sky with jetpacks, it's going to be pretty difficult to do that using the Champion Peacemaker or the Excalibur. Now, you can do it. 
The thing is, in Pixel Gun 3D, accuracy really isn't much of a thing there in this game. So as long as someone is in the center of your crosshair, that little tiny dot that you see in the center of your screen, as long as the person's head or body is touching that little dot on your screen, well, you're going to get the kill. And you go and get a whole lot of kills when you use these weapons, let me tell you. You feel like the Terminator almost. Maybe that's not the best example. I don't really know. There's uh, one example I could give. It's a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and it's, I don't remember uh, what that movie's called. I think it's, is it the Terminator? I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's the Terminator. You feel like the Terminator when you use either one of these weapons. Maybe the Excalibur even a little bit more than the Champion Peacemaker. The Excalibur is certainly the uh, less more modern looking weapon of the two. The Champion Peacemaker looks a lot more modern than the Excalibur. The Excalibur just kind of looks crazy with its skin and stuff like that. But I gotta say, with the way the Excalibur is designed, it looks really cool as well. As you can see there, there's a perfect example of how you still can take people out at range with something like the Excalibur, but it's gonna get increasingly difficult the farther away you are. Because the second somebody just gets a little bit away from that dot on your screen, you're not gonna kill them. Now, as you can see from this video, from this first match that we went into, we're gonna go battle and we got the victory. I used both of these weapons pretty much equally and we got the win. That's what you can expect with either weapon that you choose. You are going to get a lot of victories when you use these weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. The Champion Peacemaker and the Excalibur both wreck the enemies. And really at close range, the only types of weapons that are gonna do better than these weapons are going to be your area damage weapons that are OP and then something like what that guy was using. I believe that's the under Taker, and that's like a one-shot headshot shotgun. So that one's pretty crazy, but that one's kind of out of the ordinary. Most shotguns really aren't that powerful in Pixel Gun 3D for some odd reason. Most of them aren't one-shot headshots, and then you're going to sit there and probably destroy most shotgun users when you're using these in this game. If you start to encounter people at long range using sniper rifles like this, this guy named Brave Spirit, then this is where things will get a little bit more difficult. You're definitely going to have to be wary of those sniper users. Try to get as close as you can to them, and that way it's going to become the least effective. The sniper rifles, I'm trying to say. Now... With this weapon, obviously, it's not going to be best at every range. These types of weapons really only are going to be best at the medium range types of maps. So that's why I'm in Paradise Resort here, and that's why I really don't feel like going into another one. As you can see there, I just destroyed that mech, and that's what you can expect with both of these weapons as well. Both of these weapons will destroy gadgets, and really, they're actually quite similar when it comes down to it. As you can see, both of them pretty consistent firing rates, both of these pretty consistent kills, very high capacity, and I mean, really the capacity is definitely beaten by with the Champion Peacemaker. I, I feel like with this weapon, you're going to get more kills with uh, the amount of shots that you have in your weapon than the Excalibur. Because both of these weapons are spray and pray types of weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. You're going to be sitting there holding down that firing button, just spamming that firing button when you use these things, and then somehow you get the kill with these weapons. And probably the weapon that's going to be a little bit better for that scenario is going to be the Champion Peacemaker for that spray and pray spamming type of weapon. But I gotta say, that armor bonus is definitely going to be huge when you use that Excalibur. I mean, in the end, it's really not going to be that effective against the OP one-shot area damage weapons and one-shot sniper rifles, but if you can manage to find somebody that's also using maybe a primary weapon that isn't a one-shot kill and is a multi-shot kill, then those extra armor points are going to be crucial. But here's another thing. You can get those extra armor points if you equip another mythical weapon alongside the champion and Peacemaker. So you might not get those special armor points from the Excalibur, but if you have, for example, the Steampunk Fists with your Champion Peacemaker, you're going to get those armor points. So something to keep in mind, but in the end, both of those weapons are going to be just a little bit different in that respect. As you can see, I'm getting pretty much even gameplay with both of these, getting pretty much the same types of kills on the same types of people in this match here in Paradise Resort. I'd have to say, Paradise Resorts and Anslife are probably going to be your two best maps with these weapons. Also, Mining Camp is another great one, and then Two Castles is actually fantastic for these weapons. Players will be coming through that same area in Two Castles, and you basically hold down that firing button for as long as you want, and then you're just gonna get kill after kill after kill. 
I mean, I'm devastating right now with both of these weapons. So in the end, if you choose either of these, you're really not missing out. Of course, the Champion Peacemaker is going to be the easier weapon to get out of the two. The Excalibur is that mythical clan weapon. And eventually you're going to eventually, if you play the game enough, get the Excalibur for free. It's going to take a long time. You're going to get medals, you're going to win, and then you're eventually going to open up enough clan chests to get the Excalibur. If you have a lot of people running around with a super high mobility weapon, it's very annoying, so you should probably just leave the match. I'm leaving this match because this person just wants to use a ridiculously high mobility weapon, and it's not fun to go up against people with those types of weapons when you're using this. I'm going to jump into a close range match here in Silent School and show you guys exactly how these weapons can perform in close range. A lot of you players who are watching this video right now do go into close range matches for the majority of the matches in Pixel Gun 3D. So you'll get to see how this weapon is in some of the closer ranged battles. You're going to encounter a lot of one shot using weapon noob type of players. A lot of players like the guy that just killed me there. So you're going to have to kind of take that with a grain of salt. A lot of the times you are going to die, again, as you can see from one shot kill weapons over and over and over again. This is why I'd honestly say weapons like the Excalibur and the Champion Peacemaker are not best for close range. Extremely close range. For close range, yeah, but like extremely close range matches, like what I'm in right now, literally going up against these people in this scenario, that's not the best. So many people are going to be constantly using area damage weapons. So many people are going to be using sniper rifles, which I still to this day don't understand why works so well in close range. And in the end, you're going to just die by one-shot kills over and over and over again. Since these weapons are not one-shot kill weapons, you're going to be at a disadvantage pretty much every single battle you have. Unless you can just get the drop on somebody and you can manage to get all of those shots as headshots, somebody with a one-shot kill weapon will almost always have a better advantage over you. So understand that when you use these weapons and keep in mind that you will die a lot when you use these weapons in matches that you go into. But dying is okay, and a lot of people are tryhards in this game, and they don't want to die. So I want to just explain here that if you die in Pixel Gun, it really doesn't matter. Dying is probably more common for most players than living, honestly, in this game. You die a lot of times when you play Pixel Gun 3D, so don't really worry about it. If you die, as long as you're having fun, that's really all that matters. You don't have to win every single match you go into. As long as you're having fun, that's good. Don't be like this guy named Noob that's just constantly using the soul thief because he doesn't accept death and he just wants to always win even though he's not using the most fun weapon out there so yeah little life lesson and uh yeah that's basically it guys as you can see we are destroying now in the end if i was to basically say wrap up what whip what weapon i would recommend more Honestly, the weapon that is probably a little bit better than the two is the Excalibur. I feel like it's just a couple less shots to kill enemy players. But here's the problem, right? Most people are not going to end up having the Excalibur. So for a more practical Pixel Gun 3D player, for somebody that doesn't play for hours on end every single day, your best bet is to get the Champion Peacemaker. Based off of pure stats and power, I'd say the Excalibur, but... For more practical users, it's definitely the Champion Peacemaker. So, for most people watching this video, Champion Peacemaker is the way to go. You can't go wrong with that weapon. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one of these weapons. As you can see, you destroy with any of them in most matches that you go into. And again, as I said before, there are certain scenarios where you might end up dying. But in the end, most times you're going to get a lot of kills in the matches that you go into. Might have not gotten first place in this match here in Silent School, but we got a whole lot of kills, and that's one thing I can guarantee with either weapon that you choose. So if I was basing it off of pure stats, Excalibur. If I was basing it off of the practical player, then the champion Peacemaker. So most people watching this video, I'd say like 95% of the people watching this video, go with the champion Peacemaker, and you're good. So... With that being said, that's basically it, guys. I don't really have much else I could possibly say here. I hope I got pretty much even gameplay with both of these weapons here. It's kind of hard when I'm doing a weapon comparison to kind of, you know, obviously have even gameplay. I think I did for the most part, so that should have been pretty good. And uh, we absolutely destroyed basically everybody we went into. I mean, my God, I got so many kills, it's ridiculous. I killed that guy twice in a row. 
He expected me to be right in front of him when I actually killed him, but when he respawned, I got him, so we're good. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something new in today's video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like down below. Like I said before, I really hope the game did not change too much in the most recent update and this video was completely worthless. I'm sure it's probably still pretty accurate because I assume even in the most recent updates, the battle royale and gun balancing updates, this weapon will be one of the most powerful weapons out there. The champion peacemaker and the Excalibur will both be some of the most powerful weapons probably ever for the longest time in Pixel Gun 3D. So yeah, with that being said, that's it. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode.